Hello and welcome to Super Profit Club. My name is Sumit Gupta and I'm the founder of Super Profit Club. Uh, through these videos, I bring uh, lessons to you in swing trading, which you can implement in your uh, trading and uh, can become profitable. Uh, so if you like, uh, like this video, click on the like button, subscribe and share uh, with your friends, family and anybody who could benefit from these uh, Video. You know, we do not give any uh, investment or trading advice at all. So you use your discretion, uh, judgment and analysis when you are using these videos to implement any lesson in your trading. Though I believe that whatever I share with you, those are time tested techniques and uh, these can really help you uh, taking your trading to the next level, making your trading more profitable and uh, you can use these lessons to reduce the risk or the losses in the stock market. In this video, what I'm going to take you through is uh, the importance, even in swing trading, don't take it as an investment portfolio. That's a very different one. Usually what I recommend to uh, the traders in my community and in general also, is that uh, while you need to diversify, but you should not trade in more than 10 to 20 stocks, right? So just select 10 or 10 to 20 stocks that you should be trading in, okay? Now, how do you select those stocks? Uh, primarily, I give only three uh, criteria for those stocks. Right? The first one is uh, that it, sh it should be a volatile stock, right? So the price movement should be happening uh, quite often because unless the price uh, movement is happening, you would not see a lot of swings forming. Okay, And if you are not seeing any uh, swings for, uh, forming on a regular basis, you will not be able to do swing trading. Uh, once the price is fluctuating, that is the only way wherein you can buy at a lower price and sell at a higher price to earn profits. Volatility is important. Uh, the price movement should be happening. The second criteria should be that there should be volumes. Okay, there should be enough volumes happening. The volume should not be erratic, but there should be uh, good volume should be happening. Uh, why that is important? The good volumes are important for the liquidity purpose. If there's no liquidity, uh, what's happening? You may not be able to buy it, right? Even if it reaches the price that you want to buy at, or, uh, you know, you may not be able to sell. If you're able to buy, you may not be able to sell at the time or at the price that you want to sell it at. Uh, so that's why volumes are important. Stay away from the penny stocks. What are penny stocks? These are, you know, these stocks which uh, are low priced, right? And you can do a Google search to understand the exact definition of penny stocks. Uh, you know, let me give you a little brief on that, which is, you know, these are low priced stocks, uh, which uh, in the market, you know, many times there are, kind of uh, news there is a news in the market case this share is going to go up uh you know just buy this usually the volumes are low but suddenly the volumes will come in uh, somebody is just trying to push up the price uh, in in swing trading uh when you are earning profits that's a percentage of the capital deployed it is not about what the price of the share is okay let me give an example if you are employing a capital of one lakh rupees for a particular trade okay if you are going to earn seven or eight percent on that trade you will still earn seven or eight thousand rupees whether the stock is two thousand rupees or the stock is 200 rupees or stock is 100 rupees share it, it won't matter that way if you are buying uh, a two thousand rupee share you will be able to buy only 50 shares okay with one lakh rupees if you are buying 200 shares you will be able to buy uh, probably 500 shares right of, of that stock with one lakh rupees and if you are buying a uh, hundred rupees share, you may be able to buy one thousand shares of that, right? Within one lakh rupees. So ultimately, if it is, if in, in all the three stocks, whether it is two thousand rupees or two hundred rupees or hundred rupees, if you are going to make eight percent, so on a two thousand rupees shares, you may be earning one sixty rupees. On two hundred rupees share, you will be earning sixteen rupees. On one hundred rupees share, you might be earning only eight rupees, right? But because the number of shares are more in that, ultimately the amount, total amount, will be. Uh, about uh, you know what uh, it will be about sixteen thousand rupees that you will earn irrespective of whether you whichever share. So the value of the share don't look at that. It's the percentage that you are going to earn or risk on a particular share in swing trading that is important, right? Uh, so that is why I say ki, why to go into penny stocks. Go into that. Then next, uh, uh, the simplest way you can do it is ki, you can simply pick up any uh, these ten or twenty stocks as I say from the Nifty 50 itself, because uh, uh, I have seen in my experience that uh, Nifty will not take up any stock, which is a penny stock, right? It will not be a Nifty 50. Secondly, there will be volumes and there will be volatility happening because then only the, the trading will be happening in that share, right? So you can pick up these from Nifty 50. But I'm not saying that you just pick it up from Nifty 50, but just in case you have any confusion, that's the simplest way, okay? So now coming back to the original topic, which is the diversification I was talking about, 
So what I recommend is that usually you should take these 10 or 20 stocks that you're going to shortlist to trade in should be from different industries, okay? Not from the same industry. Ideally, you should take one from each industry if you can, uh, right? If you're trading in 10 or 20, but not more than two in the same industry, usually, right? So that, uh, you know, you are uh, trading in various uh, different industries. Uh, now, from a fundamental perspective, it doesn't matter so much, okay? From a swing trading perspective, it doesn't matter so much. But why I, I tell you why should you diversify in the industries, right? In, in trading. The reason simply is that to get opportunities from time to time, to get trading opportunities. Now, many times what will happen is that uh, the entire stock market will be moving in one direction. Means every share is going up, every share is going down, most of the shares, right? This is how it will, you will see that, okay? Usually what happens is even when the heavyweights are going up or down, they also drag the other stocks which are less heavyweight or, uh, you know, which are the mid cap or small cap uh, stocks, they will also get dragged with that. So it can happen. Uh, sometimes the news may be so, so it will uh, keep happening that way. So in that scenario, it's, it's uh, you know, even if you're uh, in 100 industries uh, operating, uh, it's, it's uh, the same scenario, right? However, there'll be times when a particular industry will be going through a particular phase. Let's say if it is a banking industry or if it is an IT industry, uh, or uh, let's say the real estate industry, they may be going through, uh, maybe some regulation has come in, maybe something has happened in that particular industry and it is moving in one particular direction. Now, if you have all these stocks for trading from that particular industry, then you know, your chances of getting new trading opportunities will be lesser, right? Uh, it could be also seasonal because many times, you know, the industries like sugar into a seasonal, uh, so that could also be there. So that is why you should diversify so that you can get more opportunities to trade in. Uh, then, you know, sometimes what will happen is within an industry also, there'll be few sectors or few uh, specific uh, belts that might go through uh, the, the, the similar fashion, right? So when it is happening, what you can do is you can leave that sector, that industry, and uh, maybe uh, you're not getting uh, opportunities. So if you're if you have shortlisted 10 or 12 industries to trade in those 10 to 12, uh, 20 stocks that you've shortlisted, the chances are that uh, every week or, uh, you know, every two weeks, you will get at least one oppor trading opportunity or good opportunity in uh, out of those 10 or 12 different industries so that you can trade. Otherwise, what will happen is your capital will be idle. Now, obviously, I'm not recommending and I never recommend that you force fit a trade. If, if you are not getting any opportunity for trading, that's okay. You know, there will be times when you need to sit outside the market you don't need to trade and it is better not to trade. That, all I'm trying to say is that when you diversify in the industries, right, uh, you select these 10 to 20 stocks that I recommend you to trade in from different industries. Uh, a diversification happens so that you get more opportunities to trade. And then you can choose ki which one do you want to trade in. If you're getting five opportunities and you want to take two trades uh, out of those uh, deploying your capital, uh, then you can choose, right? You know, it always helps if you have a diversification of the industries. Many times in a particular industry, the movement might happen very quickly. The pace of movement could also be different in different industries, okay? Some uh, will be, you know, very steady when they're going up. They will be steady, uh, steadily going up. Uh, some will be which move very fast. Some are which move very slow. Those also could be the characteristics. So you uh, should also be taking benefit of that. We like the industries more where the movement is happening very fast. Every industry goes through their own uh, phases or their own seasons, their own cycles. It will be very uh, critical and important for you to diversify in different industries for these stocks that you trade in. So take that into account. Uh, take this lesson and uh, look at those uh, industries. If you want to trade in one particular industry, that's your choice. So you say, okay, I want to take only one trade in a month or maybe in two months or three months. Uh, then that's also fine. As a trader, I always look at uh, the more opportunities I can get. That means I can make more money and I can, uh, you know, uh, rotate my capital more, much more frequently. And that is what gives me uh, the more, more profits on the swings. That is how it, I would look at that. However, you know, one size doesn't fit all. Uh, there's no one common answer for everyone. Yes, few things uh, like, you know, 80, 85%, 90%, it can be uh, common. And then 5 to 10% or 15% has to be customized to a person's uh, thoughts, background, experience, etc. And that is what I always recommend. Yes, you can 
do that because somebody may have a high risk appetite somebody may have a low risk appetite somebody might have high aspirations to make a lot of money some people will have a low aspiration some people want to go study you know everybody is a unique person according to me the systems could uh, be deployed by almost everyone in, and keeping their uniqueness so, uh, my belief is that about 90% you can probably automate and use the same system but 10% has to be customized according to your mindset according to your psychology according to your background according to your preferences keep that in mind and make the best use of this uh, lesson that if you like it click on the like button subscribe to our channel and share it with the people who need to know this information keep coming back for more videos if you want to learn more about swing trading uh, join me for one of my webinars uh, the link to register for the webinar is given in the uh, description below. Uh, if you want to join uh, our Super Profit Club community uh, as a paid member, uh, you can join one of my programs on the uh, you know link again given below. I look forward to add more value and uh, whatever support or whatever information I can share with you based on my experience, uh, you are most welcome. So I wish you all the best, more profits to you and more power to you and have a great day.